Coach, one of the things that sort of leapt out, you know, after you guys got to the, the the fast start, I think you had, you had seven turnovers the rest of the first quarter. Just, I mean, how debilitating is that, you know, to have that many giveaways against a team that's as good as USD is? Sure, we need to value the basketball. And, and when we don't turn it over, especially in that first quarter, even part of the second quarter, uh, we were able to make shots at a high rate. But um, live ball turnovers easily result into two points on the other end. Um, and so valuing the basketball, being decisive in our actions um, are, is very important and something we didn't capitalize on today. From a defensive standpoint, I know when you have a team that's, I think they had seven players averaging between seven and 14 points, just how, is, how difficult is it to game plan for a team that can really you know, hit you from so many angles like they can? They're a well-balanced offensive team, absolutely. Um, and at the end of the day, you still know, uh, because our conference opponent, they're kids that we have recruited, they're our ki they are kids that we've played against you know, a couple times a year for a number of years. Uh, at the end of the day, we still know who who's going, you know, who the shots are going to come to and, and who's going to try to take over the game and, and whatnot. But being a very well-balanced team, uh, I think that is part of why they are successful and certainly uh, something that they play into. Um, yeah. Defense made them so tough to crack from your offensive standpoint in the second half there. Uh, when they, you know, when they switch one through five on, on the ball screens, uh, and they really just try to contain. Uh, I think that stymies our stymied our uh, ball handlers, made them kind of on their heels, uh, and that's something that in the first quarter I thought we got to the foul line. We drew seven, six or seven foul, hand check fouls uh, because we were aggressive, and then again we we did not compete for that those same that those that same part of the floor or those same opportunities uh, the rest of the game. Plus 19 or plus 20 in the rebounding mm -hmm. advantage. How do you kind of clean that up moving forward, especially you know as conference play kind of picks up steam? Here? I think that's a, a, a everybody needs to take a look at that because it, it's not one person. It wasn't like the the post player on the inside had you know 15 offensive rebounds. Um, it's every single person boxing out. It's competing for that rebound, compete, competing for that space. And for 10 minutes, I thought the Bison competed at a very high level. Um, South Dakota is a, is a good basketball team. They are not 19 rebounds better than we are. Uh, we fell victim to not competing. Um, and, and luckily for us, we have a week um, to address some of that and to toughen ourselves up because we need to compete uh, in the rest, of the, uh, the rest of our conference schedule here, and that does not happen today. In the second half, it, it seemed like you kind of went to, to Emily or whoever was playing the post on that right block. Now that kind of Emily has shown her capabilities and being successful, especially made a few baskets tonight, is that something that might make its way into a regular rotation, or is that just kind of a, an adjustment in that second half? Uh, no, I, I think it's part of – we believe in Emily. Uh, we believe that she has – Back to the basket skills, you know, nice 15 foot jump shot. Um, she's a, she's worked very hard in the weight room and on the court, um, and she's a, she's a good basketball player for us. Um, at the same time, we've got uh, Michelle on the perimeter who can hit shots. We've got Ty who can attack the basket. You know, and I, I do feel like we are a well balanced team. Certainly, you did not see that tonight, um, but Emily is just one component of that. Um, and when she got her got in her, got in a rhythm and got herself comfortable, certainly we fed her the basketball. I know you're big on taking away positives, whether it's a win or a loss. You know, in a game like this, what can you take away? Obviously, you haven't pressed play on the film and watched over anything like that, but what can you maybe take out of this game and bring it into Omaha next week? That's tough. I did not think we competed tonight. Michelle, guys, for Robo. Can you just uh, take me through? Obviously, I know statistically, I mean, their defense was really impressive. But just like you know, seeing it firsthand, I guess what makes them so difficult to score and move the ball again? What makes it so difficult to score against them? Um, I thought they had just better intensity and better effort. I mean, I don't think that we showed what we're capable of this game. Um, yeah, it was just a simple fact of effort. You guys got off to a hot, hot start there, and he has got up 7 nothing. What does it take to maintain that kind of effort and, and intensity throughout an entire quarter, uh, 16 minutes there? I think that's just something that needs to come um, inside of us uh, for the whole game. Like, we competed for the first 10 minutes, and that's why we stayed in the game. But then we kind of missed some shots. We went different directions. We didn't stay together, and then uh, it went downhill from that. So we just have to compete. Everybody has to compete for 40 minutes. And was it important to, I mean, to 
take what happened today, learn from it, but just you know, leave it behind because you know, it's going to spread around the corner. So just kind of move on. Yeah, I mean, we can't change the past. The only thing we can do is move forward and focus on our next game and do whatever we can to get that win. Is it easier to sort of, I guess, you know, flush a game like this when you're knowing that that's you know one of the better teams, if not the best team, you're going to see throughout the conference season? I don't think it should be an excuse for us to think that way. I mean, I think we really need to take today to let it settle in and, I mean, feel the sting so that we can come back and get our revenge next time we play them. Obviously not the best shooting day for, for the team. You know, how do you kind of put a, a poor shooting in as a team, you know, behind you and move forward to the next? Well, as a team, we're encouraged to leave it behind us and come back to gym and just just do better. Like obviously we can't expect to get better if we don't come to the gym and don't practice our shots. But I believe in my team, I believe in my teammates, and I know that we can hit those shots. We can. Um, as a team, we didn't do well today. I think it's also because of their defense. They forced us um, to take tough shots, which obviously that's not an excuse, but we, have to, we just have to do better with that and trust our shot and take the shots that we practice. Emily, in the second half, it seemed like the offense was kind of really going through you off of that right block. Is that something coming out of halftime that was a concerted effort to get you the ball on that right block and, and kind of make things happen? Yeah, we talked about it, about how um, our perimeter offense was just a little bit stagnant. So if we could get the ball and collapse the defense, uh, we might have a better opportunity to score.